we're shooting down, so we are gonna go into game number three. And I mean, we're right here with our winner, Wu Zhao. This is, again, game number three, final round of the Australia Oceanic region. Wu Zhao, our current leader, uh, holding down a major lead in first place, uh, basically a full 100,000 ahead of second. If he can make it anywhere into the middle of the pack in this game, I think it basically shuts it down and locks it in for him, regardless of what second and third place get. Either guy in second or third needs to take down a first place this match to have a shot at the gold shotty, so they should be looking ahead to try and make it very, very far. Now, does that affect them? Are they going to play more passively, or are we going to see these guys get a little bit more aggressive when fighting for key positions? Well, I mean, we saw he's actually pretty far Ooh, off on his own right on now. Nancy yeah, 98 Nancy going get taken out. out there. I mean, he's pretty far away right now. He's on his own, and as it seems to be our most of our top players right now, 5MT's on his own. Sakula and Lusty not a top player and already in a battle. And that's kind of the point that I'm trying to make right now is it looks like they are definitely playing a little more carefully. They all might be playing a little more carefully. It's and again at the beginning, I don't I don't want to say luck, but it, it sometimes there's you're gonna have spawns that play differently and sometimes your play style plays better to that spawn. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you land in spots where maybe Kula isn't um, as comfortable with early game engagements. That, that's just, it depends on your play style and how you want to play these types of games out. Some of these guys, it may be their first time playing in an actual competitive setting. And that's very true. You're right. I mean, right now, I mean, 60 just rolled his vehicle and gets headshotted by TikTok from the left. Now TikTok is here and knows that Bop Fuzz is as well. Not only does he have the all the gear and the loot from 60 now, but he's also going to have the vehicle. And now in that same spot we saw last time, was it? I think it was the same player last time. I don't know if it was the same two, but it was definitely... It was definitely Ziles last time, who got killed in the same exact spot. At least this oh! style of building, but he's not going to get taken out this time. He is going to punish Korea. Yo Actually, no, did he? He, he took he Korea took, Yoshi out. He took him out. He took him out in almost... In the same building. Exactly. I, was it, it this was building? It was this building. Yeah, he took him out through the window previously. He's going to take him out at the doorstep this time. So we're getting a very similar start un to game two. Unlucky. Yeah, that is that is an unlucky Can we use, moment. Can we use the line from yesterday? Which line from it's yesterday? An oof with a side of yikes with that's a dash a, that's, of unlucky on that's, top. That's definitely a, that's a whole lot of unlucky on top. That's like when you <laughs> somebody pulls the prank on you at like unscrews at, the, unscrews top, the top of yeah. like the salt of the pepper shaker. Mm -hmm. That's the type of situation that was that that unlucky. meal is ruined. He has been destroyed. That is not the way you want to go out. Botfaz though here in a fight with nice one. Neither player really getting that much done at the moment. Both of them just kind of stabilizing. It looks like Nice is going to try and make a little bit of a rotation. Bot, uh, Bot is going to try and hop in the car, try and rotate around. Not afraid to hop to take the fight, though. He is going to get one. Look, I think he might have got one hit into Nice because it looks like he's got a bleed back on him. Possibly. He has started healing, though. Maybe he got that first and got a bandage off. Not the full med kit. I'm not sure. You're right, but, I mean, it doesn't matter. He's trying to fight back, but Foz... Down to two, has to get the bandage off. Able it to get that, but that's an eight. He has to get in front, and it's going to be Nice who takes him. He's going to finish it off with the Magnum, too. I think Nice may have had him sooner than that. He had some nice play shots. The problem is that trying to use the AK to to trace a car with the upwards kick makes it a little bit harder to take somebody out of the vehicle. But he hit enough shots that he was able to get a nade in there, force the player out into the open, right, right. and finish it off with a quick shot from the Magnum. I mean, it was either you're dying to a nade or you're dying to a Magnum. He made his choice. I mean, it, I guess it'd be better to go down to the bullet rather than an explosion. I don't know. I would the rather go down to the explosion. is probably a quicker. quicker. Yeah. A little quicker. Well, talking about quick, Night Korea is quickly aiming down towards Sakula. But now Sakula is making the smart move, maybe putting some damage out onto that Jeep. That's what you want to do. That scares Night Korea away. He was confident in the fight, but he's not confident enough to not lose his vehicle. Yeah, it's better to keep your vehicle. This is the this is the right decision. Do not give up the vehicle. If you can get a quick kill, if you want to go ahead and take a fight really quickly and you get that elim, fine. No reason, though, for him to be in that engagement. He has a little bit of ammo. It looked like he had a uh, little bit of loot there. He was doing all right. Jao Lu going to go down elsewhere on the map right now. Uh, but he was... 
he was doing all right. He had a vehicle in good condition. There's no reason right. to risk that right. when you can ride that to the zone and get yourself possibly in the right spot early. You can make quick rotations. Having a vehicle is really beneficial to making those quick um, those quick rotations to the center of zones. Uh, we've seen it in competitive play, even in fives, where sometimes you make the decision to take a fight. You can get on top of somebody where they don't have enough time to really make the decisions or have the process of yeah. how am I going to take this fight. Yeah. You can kind of catch them off guard and put them on tilt. So... There's a lot of benefits to having a vehicle. I'd be really curious. I, I know we can if we can get the map pulled up because I was noticing when we were on Weijiao, right? He is literally just having the time of his life right now. Where? Yeah, see, top right, right along the edge of the gas. Zesty's in front of him. Weijiao is just literally chilling. He's yeah. playing this 100% perfectly. He's he's basically ghosting in behind Zesty. He's gonna just kind of mirror him in, follow him into the zone, and set himself up later. He's not in the gas, not really hurting. He does have a couple players ahead of him. He doesn't want to rotate into these fights early. He's definitely somebody that we've seen kind of get right around the mid games when he starts getting his elims. I just, I like watch. this play. I love it from him. He's had such a, a calm time looting up. He's had no issues whatsoever, no one to fight. First player he sees is just running away from him, essentially getting to the safe zone. He's set. We've already broken 58. He only needs to realistically break top 40, as we said. Like, th this is a this is a good game for him, and I like this play because I think it's also going to set him up to possibly win another because he's so well looted. Oh, yeah, that he's is doing a hurt pretty well. And, and and that's the question: is does is he just playing a different game where he knows he only has to make it to the middle of the pack and he's fine? He can oh. just kind of call it nice hit there on the Magnum from Zephyr, and he's looking for that fight with Korea. He's going to go ahead and back up, protect the vehicle for a moment. Quick shot, going to hit that eight, the uh, vehicle once again. It looks like he's just trying to take the vehicle away from Korea. That is going to go, and now he is going to go for the press. Not going to be able to run away. Korea, no vehicle. In comes the throwables. Nate going to be closed. That one's going to go off oh. really quickly. Going to chunk him down to 32. He does hit a couple nice shots, though. Going to mm -hmm. back Zephyr off a little bit here, and it looks like Zephyr's car is on fire now, and this is going to go to a stalemate for a moment as they both get uh, get healed back up. Well, as his car explodes, we just saw Benno Boy <laughs> talking hard. Talking hard. We just saw Benno Boy get another kill. Now, like Rhea is trying to push up, but it's not the only one shooting at him. Flame puts his vehicle directly in the front of Orange Green. But that grenade can't jump down. Now, Flame going to hop out, throw the vehicle off to the side, and Orange Green's going to come around. But Orange Green does have a makeshift on. He has half health, and now the push comes in from Light Korea. Ooh. And it will not pay off. He will go down. Zypher picks up that kill. 55 remain. A little bit of back and forth between the two. Both of them taking each other's vehicles out. We saw them go to that stalemate for a minute. Eventually that fight had to come to an end. Zephyr going to be the one to end it. Well, our zone's just about to hit. And, well, so his Indigo Flame Shotgun into the head of Orange Green. Lusty also going to go down there, and this zone is about to close in. We can see Wojow coming in just on the south side of Humperdinck Gorge. Definitely Nothing somebody to, to keep about. an eye on. He's right next to Big Dog. Keep an eye out for him as he makes his way towards the zone. He's our current leader, taking down second in round number one, first in round number two. He's definitely the guy to watch out for here in this final match. I want to see if he's going to go out with a giant hurrah, or is he going to get obliterated just early enough to give up his number one seat. I don't think it's going to happen. I think I he's got think it so on lock. Yeah. I think he's good to go. There's Sonder going to get eliminated by Flux. Big Dog, which is going to be that guy directly to the north of um, our leader, is going to go down. So there's now oh, a little see, bit less. See, I told you. Yeah, he's he knows he can just maintain health here. He can just kind of roll heels. He's going to slow roll his way in. He's just maintaining. There's no fights that are going to happen with him here. Makes his way into the zone, and there's nobody – really directly around him from the last all. time that we had seen the map. Prom not going to make the change. There was a fresh ATV there. I'm disappointed. Whoa, well, you had one. You could have made the swap. But going to keep rotating his way towards... I, I think he literally is taking a zero risk game. Zero risks at all. Yeah, maybe it's baited. I wonder if this guy right here, CSGO by me go. I don't think I've seen him on the list, but we have someone whose name is Snack CSGO fan. And I gotta give him props. Gotta give snacks, him props. Uh, snacks on Virtus Pro? Was on Virtus Pro. Was yeah. on Virtus Pro? 
I think he was. I, I watched them live on the CSGO Masters in Vegas uh, a year or two ago at the MGM. And uh, Snacks is definitely one of those guys that was kind of popping off. Oh, yeah. Definitely Snacks a good guy. If you're going to be a fan world. of somebody in CSGO, he's definitely one of them. This long-range fight still continuing here between Baumei and Drama. Neither one of them making any headway on it. We're going to jump on board with a close-range fight from Ziles. You can see a throwable coming in from another player over the top there. Oh, Ziles is going to try and get out of here, but Flame going to come in and punish him. And now shots come into the back of Flame from Wo Zhao. Wo Zhao with his first elim of the match as he breaks into the top 48. Going to hit a headshot there and possibly pick himself up a vehicle where he can get off this ATV. I mean... How ideal is that? Wo Zhao comes up behind an entire fight that is being traded back and forth, gives an amazing headshot out of a moving cop car. If you're going to be in line for a fight like that, it is good to be the last guy to show up. Uh, that is very That true. is the right time to come in. I think in. that's Wo Zhao's plan. I'm going to be the last guy to show up, although he has made his way almost all the way to the middle of the safe zone. I think his plan is probably be the last guy to show up for an elim at the end of the match, too. Mm, quite possibly. And, I mean, it is... It, 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 it could happen. He has been nothing short of solid. All right. Now, man, it looks like he might have been uh -oh. a fight physical car on fire. I don't, I don't know that car is effect. on fire. Okay. It's going to be stuck in my head forever, man. Why did you do it? All right, shotgun shell fight <laughs> coming out here from physical and by Betty. By Betty, we've seen him win the shotgun battles in the last round. Trying to get away. Looks like he is going to decide to heal. At least threw on a makeshift. So he's got an armor on. Stemmed that bleed. All right, actually, that's physical. They both got armors on now. But mm. by Betty. Ba Betty Going to get taken down by Imperial Spratty, one of our top ten players yep. who really his whole team has been performing. I'm not sure where the rest of Imperial is in this match. Haven't seen it. But at least one of them showing up and is still here representing. Well, there's Benny Boy in this battle with Watch Me Baby, who I love saying that name. Benny Boy, though, has been playing for, I'm sorry, let's ben, say that's, Benno Baby. That's Benno Baby. Yeah, Benny, Benny Boy is a completely different yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. Benny Boy, just, just a pro league player. He might know him. He's all right. He's, he's pretty he's, decent he's, at the he's game. A, he's okay. Probably only had the number one damage output in the game, but, you know, who knows. While doing it with, hearing only how to, Benny Boy is amazing. Uh-huh, absolutely. He, he is insane. Uh, if anybody doesn't know Benny Boy, go look him up. Look up his story. Guy's a guy's a monster. The good kind of monster, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Not a bad one. Maybe Brady doesn't even have a military backpack. Looks like he got he himself an airdrop yeah. crate, though. He does have a two-hit Lammy on. It's been tagged once, though, so it's basically just a makeshift. Looks like Flux. Not like he has enough room to carry anything else. Flux had lost a helmet. He has a new one on, but he's still at 65 health. Going to need a top off there, and he oh. is... Looked like he was in pursuit of Wojow for a second. I was going to say, that is not the one guy. That's not it. You don't want it. I like this play from Flux. Going to put down the uh, smoke, hide his vehicle in it, going to heal himself back up. You know what surprises me is that more people, when they do stuff like this, don't turn the engine off of the car. They'll get out of the car and stand next to it rather than sit in it. He looks like he turned the engine off right at the end there, but a lot of people will just sit in the gas, leave the engine on. It's like, man, if somebody is sitting there in a bush, they know they they can hear you. They can right. sound, yeah, sound check obviously you. a car there. I don't know, but Flux is playing this very well. I think he's been someone that I paid attention to in these games that have been has been very strong, but our zone going to be shifting along the road that Hemingway's is on. I like that. It's an interesting little zone. Yeah, Hemingway, uh, Hemingway is kind of an interesting spot if it does close in on it for a final zone. Um, it's too far to the left for that. I, I, yeah, I don't think it's going to be able to make it there, but uh, this is a less used area of the map, so this is a lot of open field. There's not going to be many POIs out here, not a lot of buildings or hard cover. This is going to be one of those knowing how to rotate. It's definitely one of those circles if you want a final zone. Sakula going to go down. If you want a final zone to watch and see if somebody knows how to rotate or how to get the best spot We're map awareness, it. this is a great spot on the map to have as a final round. Physical is going to have some shots thrown his way by Xiao Mei. No hits going to come in, though. Nothing to come of it. Drama X will go down. Another Imperial AJC player. Finds him. Yep, that's what I was about to say. These Imperial players just doing so well. AJC, I don't. was he one of the ones on the top? Yeah, I believe he was. So Yeah, he's one of the three in the top ten. I don't know if there's any other Imperial players outside of those three on this list. I'm going to let you cast for a second, and I'll check it and see if I can find one. Well, Zhao has got this angle over the top of physical as Imperial Robin will go down, but Spratty 
Gonna make up for it by getting a kill onto OB. Yeah, there's three Imperial players on down, the list, so. Two walks. So Zhao Mei is kind of pinned out. Zesty behind him. He's got that player inside, and there's our the guy we're rooting for, I guess, at this point. I'm rooting. Uh, I just want to see him go out on a uh, on a big game. I don't know if I'm necessarily rooting as a as a giant fan or not, but the you guy's know, been stellar. You didn't order stellar. your Wojo sweatshirt. I, I did not. I have not yet. You you have caught me. I probably should get on gotta that. Gotta get that pre-order, buff. Gotta get it. Gotta get it now before they sell out. Yeah. Watch me, baby. Gonna get taken out by Benno. Baby in the gas. Gas gonna be the, what finishes them off. But Benno gonna give him a little bit of love before it does. Mini Jack gonna be pushing in through this window. Smoke nade in here. I don't really see anybody else around. It looks like Skippy was just off screen outside there. And Skippy, that guy that needs to make it late in I'm the out. game, and he is playing a bit more of that passive play. It looks like he doesn't seem to want that fight with many, or at least doesn't want that type of coin flip fight close range inside correct, of that cabin. He's going to go ahead and get out of there. I think it's the right decision if he's going to have any chance at this, but I don't think there is really a chance at this point. He needs to just... Making it to the top 10, Wojow still going off. Going to find a kill onto your favorite player, I'm PP1. Mm, and Abitron going to get cast. taken out by Cicero. Didn't even give me the opportunity to say it. <laughs> Don't tell you. Well, talk, talk, tick. Right across the camper from Ben a baby. We'll see if he pushes through. There's a Molotov coming in from a third party. And that's going to be nice one. That's just outside, so he tries to light the campfire on fire and then tries to light the I guess that's tank. a, hey, I know both of you are there. Maybe yeah. that's like a Hello. warning. Hello. TikTok uses that smoke to fall back. Grenade will roll in. That will go off on the backside, but TikTok is pretty much gone, gone. But now Ben Baby's going to peek out as well and fire some shots. Skippy just went down. Skippy did make it far enough that he's 100%. I think he's yeah. top 10. There's no I problem. Agree. He's good. He's got his gold AR. Congrats to him, but he's not going to be able to take down that number one spot. We're going to watch the shotgun battle go down, though, as Tok Tok Tick rotates himself back into the campus to take that fight against Avon, baby. He's going to win that one, but nice one is going to put a couple nice shots into the back of Tok Tok Tick and eliminate him from the match as we hop on board with Joy Biu Biu. Do you think Tok Tok Tick is what happens if a clock is upside down? No, I, I'm pretty sure it stops functioning probably. Well, I guess it depends on the type of clock. Well, Zesty sure. will go out to a car explosion and the me. gas will get Meng Meng Mu. Meng Meng Mu. And there we go. So it is. It's it's going to be in between. It's going to have the road splitting it. No more rivers in Oof. this zone. The bubble has burst. The I bubble mean, burst on that quick look yeah. at the map. We can see shots going off all over the place. You can see the little circles lighting up yellow and red as people are taking shots at each other. And it is just going off. Battles all over the place. Imperial Spratty helmet off but trying to get a quick finish onto Zhao Mei. Decides to stop for a moment, get his helmet back on. And you've got Knight right here across the water. Could be a problem if Spratty doesn't know he's there. Oh, GW on Fuego trying to get across this water. He's going to go ahead and ditch it right there as he comes across. Imperial AJC going to go down in 22nd to Zephyr. A little bit of an assist there from Legend as he gives him some love as well. And this fight is now going down between GW and Knight. Well, you saw GW there looking up at Sarah, but now Wei Zhao has a rolling fireball in front of him. He will choose to fall back. He's going to get from multiple angles. It doesn't matter if he goes out at this point, and he does. Not quite a trade, but trading enough. But that should be enough to lock in the gold shotgun. Uh, he's, that's more than enough. Mm -hmm. That's the winner right there. He definitely locked in that gold shotgun. He had a great three matches. A first, a second, and a 17th or 18th place. The consistency level there was oh, through unreal. the roof. Unreal. Uh, Well-deserved win there. But let's How go ahead and finish cars? this one out as we've still got players in that top 10. Imperial Spratty hanging on still in 16th or within the top 16. As he's taking some shots at some players. NSB in a close range fight here with Legend as he bursts out of the smoke looking for the fight. But instead he's going to burst straight into his own demise as he gets eliminated and physical going to go down elsewhere to flux. Well, now Spratty firing shots over, but GW's coming up on his side, and he actually doesn't continue to push. Ooh. Delusion just had a battle, and he's going to lose this second one with KK Boy. So we're down to 13 as GW is trying to make his way up onto Spratty. He's playing this like he's in PUBG. He's going to hang on the side of a hill and just dug down. Jao May will get taken out by Cicero. We're at that 12-player point. You don't want to be the next two out. 
at this point, it's game three. I think what you should be focusing on is not when you're going out, but what is the next spot for me to go to at the point that you have stopped and started worrying about just laying down and not going out. You're not really deciding where the next spot is. This is more one of those fights where GW needs to eliminate Spratty. He needs to make the play to get going. In 50 seconds here, he's going to be having the gas come up on his back, so he's really got a few seconds here left to make his decision on what he's going to do. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's so afraid of. Again, it's a confidence thing. You can see E-Drugs and Angsy are in the middle. Zephyr's pretty close to it, but GW's right along the edge of that gas, and Spratty doesn't have to move far. He can move up to where that cop car is and be safe. So GW has got out. a decent area to rotate from, yeah. but he's going to have to go the distance. The circle's on the farther side. On the north side, these guys are kind of closer to the south, I believe, unless I've gotten all turned around. Really surprised to not see GW just take an opportunity to take a couple shots here. Did he just get an ATV thrown at him too? Did he just not look sure. out? No, I think somebody came rolling past him. Spratty going to go ahead and start rotating. And this is going to be close range battle and Spratty goes up against oh. Knight. Knight is going to be the one to come out victorious there. We crack into the top ten as we start losing players. Knight going to get taken out by Flux Galaxy Destroyer. Minjek going to take out Nice one down to eight players, and GW has finally decided that it's just safe enough to start inching his way up towards that zone. Well, how safe is it? Because he has Galaxy Destroyer right in front of him, but he's going to opt to take this ATV and push it around to the side, use the Jeep for a little bit of cover. I think the Jeep's probably the better play there. Flux right out here on the left is going to step up. GW going to punish him, put him down. Plus Ultra Zephyr and KK Boy both going to get eliminated as we go down to five, and Minjack going down takes us to four. And that, for somehow, some ungodly reason, GW benefits pretty heavily from hanging out and lying on his stomach and it's it's not the last time i think we're going to see it as novax lies down too he will start pushing up you can see that atv moving from world destroyer or remain here gw is going to be able to grab this jeep and make any movement he wants but what is the movement you want, GW? This seems to have slowed down intensely. Looks like he's, uh, looks like he's picked up a crossbow, so he may have E-tips available to him for the end of this match as well. So I may have been sitting there and kind of ragging on the guy, but it looks like he may be set up and poised to take down this game number three. Well, he's going to have the aim, and the problem is he has E-drugs coming up from the side, rotating around the edge, but now he is moving. And Novak Snake has decided to go with the lie-down strategy. He heard it was working. He's decided to use it for himself, see if maybe he can make it a little bit farther. I mean, it skyrocketed him about six places doing that. Maybe it'll skyrocket Novak right up in the first place. Well, GW will lie down with Novak's Nick on the side. Looks like he may fire a few shots as he is going to be able to pick up the kill onto Nick, but that grenade is coming down really close. GW didn't like him using his strat. He had to, he had to yeah, go ahead no, that's and fair. put him that's down. Fair can't do that, man. can't be fighting on somebody's style. GW, close range fight. He is going to get eliminated by E-Drugs. E-Drugs versus World Destroyer. Can World Destroyer take this down? This is not the play, my guy. That is not the oh, one. Is Maybe I was play? wrong. It is not. No. World Destroyer going to get taken out. E-Drugs takes down game number three and puts himself into the top ten. E-Drugs, again, was sitting in 